hey installers what's going on with you guys i hope everything is well before i even start this video i just want to remind you guys to subscribe like and comment on my videos i'm trying to get my subscribers up you know like help a sister out over here those of you who are new here my name is bia and this is bia in style where i talk about fashion hair sometimes and mommyhood because I mean, that's just part of me. If you are interested in any of those three things, please stay and watch my video and join my little InStyler family. Get ice skating in the summer. Ice skating while you drunk. <laughs> like, that is not... You imagine being drunk? So today's video is going to be based on a new purchase that I made. It was a pair of boots. I feel like I was missing one of those like really chunky boots and so I went for it. But before I go into all of that, I really want to speak about designer shoes, trends, things that we've purchased throughout the years, etc. and are probably still purchasing that are not really worth the buck. I mean, like, for example, McQueen. I have a pair of McQueen sneakers and a pair of McQueen boots. Both are pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> I would not personally buy them myself. Uh, I was actually gifted them. And, you know, you can never turn down a gift. But... If it was my choice, I would never have purchased or will purchase McQueen footwear. I don't know which McQueen footwear is comfortable, but honestly, I don't think any McQueen footwear is comfortable. I don't know. I don't know. My foot just doesn't sit well in it. Maybe you like McQueen shoes. As for me, it's a no-no. It's a no-no. Another one on that list is Louboutin. Child, please. I could never wear a Louboutin shoe. I remember about 10, 10, 11 years ago, I'm not sure. I went to a wedding and I was shopping for shoes. And so I tried on a pair of Louboutins because, you know, it was a wedding and, you know, you're going to glam up and stuff. Why did I even bother doing that? Like, that's it. Like, I don't even understand what's wrong with these European designers or sizes or whatnot. I feel like they only concentrate on that population and not the, the majority of the world that have Fred Flintstone feet. Hence, myself, myself. I have the chunkiest whatever let's just not even get into my feet the moral of the story is they don't cater to us which is not a size zero i don't like it so um i tried on the shoes and i was like are you kidding me i could not even stand on the shoes longer than 30 seconds that's how uncomfortable the shoe, the shoe was and i know people that swear by them they really love them like that's their thing you know i don't know if that's because of the red bottom or if it's you know just because of the statement that the shoe is but the shoe is uncomfortable for me it's uncomfortable for the majority of the people is uncomfortable i i mean if you disagree with me, that's on you. I'm not I'm not telling you not to buy. I'm just telling you things that I would not buy, <laughs> period. So they're beautiful nonetheless, but I would never buy a pair of Louboutins. I don't even think I would take it as a gift. I would probably say, you're going to need to change that because it's just like, it's, what am I going to do with that? At least the McQueens, I can wear them to dinner, you know, get in the car, walk to the restaurant, sit down, walk to the car come back home you know i can do i can do that but the the louboutins child please please another shoe is the see-through i don't know if it's called see-through pvc plastic <laughs> i don't know shoes and bags i have a fendi 
see through people, whatever it is. You can see through the bag. I don't think it's the way. Like, I feel like when you're not carrying a lot of things, fine. Either way, like, everyone can see everything that you're carrying in it. I thought that I could trick the eye to not seeing everything, but you just can. I was thinking of possibly buying another pouch to put inside of the pouch because it's a it's a handbag. It's a it's a it's like a clutch, you know? So I was thinking of putting another pouch inside that pouch to kind of rock it that way because I I really don't like you being able to see everything. It looks very messy. Yeah, not really my thing. I will not mind it um for like a beach bag. You know, like a big beach tote and a see-through and you're carrying towels and stuff in there. I wouldn't necessarily mind that. But like a bag that you're like just carrying, just, I don't know. How, I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on it. Trends come and go, but I don't know. And the plastic shoe, see-through shoe, PVC shoe, whatever shoe you want, whatever it's called, that shoe is a no. It's a no. Like, I remember when Steve Madden had that shoe. And I loved it. It was like the thing. It was like the Cinderella glass slipper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shoe. Like, who wants to wear a plastic shoe? Like, how practical is that? As soon as your foot sweats, you're slipping. You're slipping! How is that comfortable? Like, you're like, you're, it's like you're ice skating. It's like you're ice skating in the summer. Ice skating while you drunk. <laughs> like, that is not, you imagine being drunk and you're trying to, to like, to, to like hold your composure? Yeah, no. I'm gonna have to say no. And I wanted those. I really did. And for whatever reason, anytime I would kind of like reach for them, they wouldn't have my size. I also really love the um, Amina Mawadi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or the Mac and Mac. <sighs> Gorgeous. But just just me thinking of perspiration or or just like me sweating being you know like walking around or like all night or even dancing and i'm gonna be sliding everywhere yeah i'm listen i'm not gonna make this a performance but listen that is a whole performance when you have to use those shoes on like i really yeah so let's talk about bags oh that chiquito um, by Jack Moose. That bag is so cute. And I know if you follow me on Instagram, be in style, you probably saw me post a picture in the summer, in the spring, summer, spring, with a little chiquito bag. I returned it. I sure did. The, first of all, the bag was like this big. It was a micro mini bag. Like, Okay, very, very, very unpractical. I can barely fit my cards in it. Like, okay, fine. <laughs> fine if you want to wear a mini bag and you can't fit your phone in the in the bag, right? But you can't fit your ID? Are you kidding me? And then, you know, I would put the bag right here. I took, I, I'm, I'm going to post above the picture that I posted because I removed it already. I put the bag over here and then the handle it would just like twist and turn it was very unpractical it was not a practical bag you can wear it as a top handle which is super cute but i feel like my fist was bigger than the bag like that's not a vibe of course jack moose has stepped his game up and he's made bigger bags which i might want to get one of the bigger ones and he's also switched up some of the styles so i'm all for it but le chiquito let's let it die <laughs> because it's just it's a no for me for me for me maybe if you're like a super petite girl maybe but it's it's just so impractical it's just like why waste so much money i think the bag was like five six hundred dollars why waste so much money on the bag and you can't 
it's just for a look and it's not even it's not even like a look because it's always like flipping and twisting and like yeah no <laughs> no so let's get right into my boots and then i'll mention a few other things so i made myself a purchase so this i i wanted like all black boots you know what do you say classic boots boots that i can wear year after year after year and no matter how long i wear it it's still like a vibe that's my style i although i do like some trends i try not to fall into tr you know being the trendy chick because that go that gets played out and it goes out of style rather quickly so here we go these are my first shoes of this brand because i go for comfort i go for comfort um ready Givenchy or Givenchy or Givenchy, Givenchy, what, girl, whatever, Givenchy. I hope I, I haven't opened them since I got them. Look at the inside of this box, so luxe. Ugh. Black on black on black. The smell of new. It smells of leather. Quality, baby. Quality. So, here we go. With my baby feet. This is a classic boot. This is Bia right here. This is, this is a boot that I can wear year after year. I can wear it with dresses. I can wear it with skirts. I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it with sweatpants. I can wear it in the spring. I can wear it in the fall. I can wear it in the winter. I can kind of squeeze it in there, possibly in the summer if it's not like really, really hot. The leather smells so good. This is, this is quality, baby. This is quality. So this is i'm not gonna say an imitation because it's a designer boot but it's in the same family as the bottega you know bottega came out with a super chunky boot which is amazing with the colorful soles and all of that which i totally love and i'm not gonna say no to bottega yet because i haven't tried on a bottega shoe but if it's uncomfortable guess who say no me <laughs> so i i'm not gonna pass it though i really love them i think they look so fire but this the Bottega might pass this will not you can't go wrong with this I mean can you imagine this with a trench coat which I have which I have in my closet which I thrifted well I sh shopped um at thrift by radio I can't wait to wear it I can't wait to wear it with these boots actually <laughs> How beautiful is that? It's the little details for me. It's just the little detail. That's class. That's class. All the monograms. Okay, wait a minute. I like monograms. I like me a monogram. But there's oh, there's certain instances, there's certain times where all that monogram, it just cheapens you. It devalues your look. Y'all feel me? Do y'all feel me? Because I can't be the only one that feels this way. Anywho, how beautiful is this boo? Oh my god, I can't wait to wear it with my big flappers because I have huge feet. And now that I'm expecting, I can only expect it to get big. <laughs> I hope not because, Lord, <laughs> they get any bigger. I'm going to be wearing my hubby shoes. <laughs> so these are the boots that I got. I love that they're a little square, but rounded off. It's like a, um, a mix of both. And I just love that it's a timeless boot. And y'all gonna see that I'm gonna wear these for years to come. Like, if they get scratched up, it is what it is. I'm gonna still wear them. This is definitely like a vibe. I'm very excited about this purchase. I wasn't feeling well the other day. I wasn't feeling well the other day and I'm like, you know what? Let me take my, myself to the mall. Let me take myself to the mall. Everyone's like, oh, you started by a baby stuff? I'm like, 
Should I? <laughs> Should I? <laughs> I don't know. But I know. I actually I am gonna start buying the baby some stuff. But three months and above because I have really big babies and I'm really scared that this might be a big baby and then it's clothes won't fit like my other kids. Like we're not trying to do that. Anyway, so going back to designer items that I I want to say no to in 2022 is the terry cloth slippers. Sandals, whatnot. I think they're so fire. Like, I really do. They're really pretty. But it's just, I don't think they fit in my lifestyle. Like, I feel like once you put your foot in that shoe, it's almost like a, like an Ugg, right? Once you put your foot in that shoe, the sole gets, not the sole, the inside sole gets dirty. And it's like, how do you clean that? There's really no cleaning that. Like, how do you sanitize that? There's really no sanitizing it, you know? And then you're spending so much money, like six, seven, eight hundred dollars, who knows? I'm gonna post some. Um, and it's like it's dusty. It's like, oh, you know, like <laughs> I don't want it. So it's very pretty. Um, but I don't know if it's I don't know if it's necessarily for me. Another another purchase that um I also, no, I was going to buy, but didn't because as soon as I put my foot in it, it was like, are you kidding me? The Chloe sandal. It's a flat sandal. I think the bottom is wood. It is so uncomfortable. It is so uncomfortable. Like it scratches the top of your foot the it, it's like it's very narrow it's it's just not a vibe it's like it's cloth so it doesn't really stretch so when you're walking it's like that's the part that sits right here is scratching you because every time you move your foot there's no stretch it just goes straight into your skin and yeah that's not yeah mm -mm. yeah it's not for me so I'm going to leave that list right there for things that I will not be purchasing in 2022. Call me out if you see me wearing any of these things. Of course, not if I already owned it because I'm aware of what I own, period. I'm not going to wear it every day, but I'm aware of what I own because it's mine, okay? No judgment. <laughs> don't judge. Listen, don't judge me because I ain't judging you. And... Okay, so yeah, Um, please like comment subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what my next video should be let me know if you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching see you in the next one ciao